Hi everyone, so this uh, will be the slide for chapter 6, Cloud Computing. Now, let's start with the first slide on the objectives of the chapter. So, we have uh, 5 uh, objectives for our chapter today, where I will start with uh, give definition on Cloud Computing. Number 2, I will differentiate the different models of cloud computing where we have uh, three different models of cloud computing where I will explain further in the next slide. Objective number three, I will distinguish the type of cloud which comprise of public, private and hybrid cloud. Then I will discuss the benefit of cloud computing to the users as well as the challenges faced by cloud computing. Now. Without further ado, let's start with the first slide. So cloud computing refers to an environment that provides resources and services access via the internet. So what do you mean by the resources and the services? Resources are such as email messages, schedules, music, photos, videos, games, storage, and etc. While services consist of accessing software, storing files and configuring servers so as you can see in the figure in the slide so these are the basic figure this is the basic figure of cloud computing where it consists of a different type of services such as application platform and infrastructure so where all the devices outside the cloud such as phones laptops servers desktop and tablets can access the application, platform, and infrastructure in real-time basis. Now, let's proceed with the models. So, as I mentioned before, basically we have a three types of models under cloud computing, which are IaaS or Infrastructure as a Service, next PaaS or Platform as a Service, and last one SaaS or Software as a Service. Now, let's go to the further explanation on this model. First, RAS or Infrastructure as a Service. This cloud computing offers users to access to computing resources such as servers, storage, and networking. Many organizations use their own platforms and applications within the service provider's infrastructure. Thus, this IAS it's ideal for any large enterprises or any organizations that are capable of building and manage their own IT platforms, but they want the flexibility to amend their infrastructure according to their needs. So, they will prefer IAS as compared to the others. Next, the key features of IAS. So, as you can see, these are the key features of the respective model. First, Instead of purchasing hardware outright, many users that prefer IS will pay for this model on demand. Next, the infrastructure is scalable under this model which depends on processing and the storage needs by the organizations. Next, by using this model, enterprise able to save their costs in terms of buying and maintaining their own hardware. Then, because the data is on the cloud, there can be no single point of failure under the same model. Last one, IAS enables the virtualization of administrative tasks and freeing up time for other work. Let's discuss on the benefits of this model. First, in terms of time and cost. IAS able to save time and cost for any organization. As more installation and maintenance of IT hardware are prepared in house. Next, this model offers better flexibility. Any on demand hardware resources can be tailored according to the user's needs. Next, this model offers remote access and resource management. Now, let's go to the advantages and disadvantages of this model. First, the advantages. So, there are three advantages under IAS. First, eliminates capital expenses, supports flexibility, and simple deployment. Now, let's discuss every single of them. Number one, by employing a cloud based infrastructure, it eliminates the capital expense of deploying in house hardware and software. 
Additionally, this model typically is offered as a pay-as-you-go model with charges based either in time or in the amount of virtual machine space that was used. 2. This model is useful in supporting workloads that are temporary, may change unexpectedly or experimental. Like all workloads, these loads need infrastructure to support them. However, it's expensive to commit to additional permanent in-house infrastructure for a temporary need. Cloud-based infrastructure answers the need for this flexibility. Next one, it is much easier for your cloud provider to deploy your servers, processing, storage and networking in the IS model than it is for you to deploy these elements in-house with no previous no base to build off. As a result, your uptime will increase as your system will be available for use more rapidly. Now let's discuss on the disadvantages of this model. First, because your entire infrastructure is maintained and controlled by the IS provider, it is rare that you will be provided with the details of its configurations and performance. In turn, this can make systems management and monitoring more difficult for your company. Number two, the availability and performance of the workload is highly dependent upon the provider. If the IS provider experiences an internal or external downtime, your workloads will also be affected. 3. IS models are typically much more costly than PAS and AAS models because they offer much more support to your business than the other two cloud models. However, they can still be cost effective based on their utility to your business. Now let's discuss the second model which is Platform as a Service or PAAS. It is a cloud computing that offer provide and provide users with a cloud environment in which they can develop, manage and deliver application. In addition to storage and other computing resources, the users of this model are able to use a suite of pre-built tools for de to develop, customize and test their own applications. Then this model is very ideal for any companies that wanting to maintain control over their business applications. However, they wish to get rid of constraints to manage the hardware infrastructure and software environment. Thus, they may choose PAS as compared to IAS and the other model. These are the key features of PAS. PAS provides a platform with tools to test, develop and host applications in the same environment. This model also enables organizations to focus on the development without having to worry about underlying infrastructure. They are able to provide security, operating systems, server software and as well as the backup. Then, this model also able to facilitate collaborative work even if the teams work remotely. Now let's look at the benefits of PAAS. PAAS is able to master the installation and development of software application. In fact, they are able to save time and offer flexibility for development projects. Users don't have to manage the implementation of the platform and able to produce instant production. In terms of data security, users are able to control the distribution, protection and backup of the business data by using this model. Now let's go to the advantages of PAS. First, PAS simplifies application management by eliminating the need to maintain and control the underlying infrastructure. As a result, application can be developed and deployed faster. The second advantage is in terms of cost-effective development. A cloud-based platform provides your business with a base upon which to build your applications as opposed to building from nothing, thus dramatically reducing the cost associated. The third advantage is under scalability. Cloud-based platforms offer reusable code, which of course makes it easier to develop and deploy applications, but also offers increased scalability. Now let's move to the disadvantages under vendor lock-in. It is difficult to migrate many of the services provided by one PAS product to a competing product, thus making it hard to switch PAS vendors. Downtime and additional expenses are likely to occur when switching from one PAS provider to another. Second disadvantage will be security and compliance. In the PAS model, the vendor will store most or even all of the application's data. As such, it is imperative to assess the security measures of the provider. 
This door often holds difficulty as the vendor may be storing their databases via a third party, thus leaving you uninformed of the safety of your data. The third disadvantage will be lack of compatibility. It is possible that your current infrastructure may not be compatible with the cloud platform. If some elements cannot be cloud enabled, you may have to switch from your current apps and programs to cloud compatible counterparts in order to fully integrate. Alternately, you may need to leave these elements out of the cloud and within your current infrastructure. The third model will be Software as a Service or SAAS. It is a cloud computing that offers and provides users with access to a vendor's cloud-based software. Users do not install applications on their local devices. Instead, the application resides on a remote cloud network accessed through the web or an API. Through the applications, users of this model can store and analyze data and collaborate on the projects. This model accounts for 60% of sales of cloud host solution. Hence, it is applicable and preferred by most companies regardless of the size. These are the key features of SAS. Number one, this model vendor provides users with software and applications via a subscription model. Users do not have to manage, install or update the software, such we provide them. In fact, the data is more secure in the cloud, where if the equipment fails, it will not result in loss of data. The use of resources can be scaled depending on service needs and the applications are accessible from almost any internet connected device from virtually anywhere in the world. The benefits of SaaS First, the user are entirely free from the infrastructure management and aligning software environment. This will make no installation or software maintenance needed. Next, user will benefit from the automatic updates with the guarantee that all users have the same software version. Then it also enables easy and quicker testing of new software solutions. Now let's discuss on the advantages. First, in terms of affordable. On previous hardware is not required for this model, which keeps the cost associated low. Small scale businesses might find this cloud platform particularly appealing. Number two, cloud based applications are accessible everywhere that there is internet access. As such, companies that require frequent collaboration find this platform very useful as their employees can easily access the programs that they need. Next, with this model, the programs you need are already fully de developed and ready to use. The setup time for this program is greatly decreased from the other two types of cloud-based platform. Uh, however, it also has the advantages. First, in terms of lack of control. With this model, the vendor has control over the programs that your company is using. If you do not feel comfortable releasing the control of your critical business applications to another party, perhaps SaaS is not the best option for your business. Number two, by relying upon internet access to function, SaaS applications tend to be slower than client-server applications. However, these programs are still typically quick, though not instantaneous. The third disadvantage is in terms of variable function and features. In many cases, these model cloud-based applications have less functionality and features than their client-server counterparts. This disadvantage, however, may be void if your business only needs the features offered in the model version 2 function. So that's all for our first part on this uh, chapter. I will continue with the second part of this video. See you. Bye.